One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. All kinds of cars around here. Christmas! The Christmas Santa's got me all kinds of buffing pads. Actually, I'm the Christmas Santa. And I don't know why I ever wonder, like, I wonder how this is going to look. And there's no need to wonder how this is going to look. I know. It's going to look great. Christmas Day. And it is. I don't like not having nowhere open. And this is going to take a lot of color out for sure. And with something that sets like this and never gets washed, it is very easy to take paint right off. I think my um, buffer's on its last leg, too. We can look, I guess. But that's the difference. And you can definitely tell. It's gonna add a lot to it. Um, got a little bit of rub through there, there, there. So I'm probably gonna just do it. Because it will make a huge difference on how this thing shines back at you. I don't know if I should use one of these or I'm actually going to test a spot with a little bit softer a pad. This one's a more of a waffle pad. Oh man, it looks great on that. This would make a nice one to do it a thousand, probably twelve hundred fifty. This is a bit not as rough though. looks so nice. Leaving me no guessing whatsoever. Ow! Well, if I'll do this or not. I mean, it's all the difference in the world. And it does smear this color a bit. And that's just what it does. What are you going to do? You can only do what you can do. But that's, that's just night and day. So, Time to get a jacket on, get my camera, start buffing. Yeehaw, Christmas 2015. Breeders out here. Breeders out here, huh? I think Dunkin' Donuts is open. We're gonna have to go get a Christmas donut, huh? Are you shivering? Look, it's so cold, it's so cold, it's so cold. Well, this is an awful big circus to Take up buffing. I love this truck. It drives so nice. 136 on it. It's got the BCM, the body control, the body control module. Problem. And this guy actually had a zip tie around the plugs to try and get it to work. And then he had a cork underneath the zip tie. And when we moved the cork. A nickel. <laughs> it's a cork shim. <laughs> it's a cork shim shim. It's shim. I don't know what you'd say there. Whatever. We have taken this entire thing apart. That's coming up soon. 
Lots of stuff coming up soon. What I come out here for is to look at this. I got a little bit of trash just blown around, or I've left out. A little bolt. My bulb also should be charged. And I need to move all this. Yes, I agree. Holy hell. That's a black widow if I ever seen one or something. Big old hourglass. It's brown. There's a big old freaking hourglass on its belly. Yeah, dead sucker there. I don't want to see that guy again. Give me the GB heebies. Okay. Man, all these are empty. I don't know what we're all thinking here. Oh, wow. That's full of water. Oh, it's in a bag. Oh, there goes the handle. Pictures for now. Ouch. Oh man. I gotta make the video and everything, but I don't have everything hooked up on the inside yet. Damn it. One on a car guy. <laughs> One on a car guy dot com. Breeder sees a cat. No. Stinking. Kids are Big douchebag neighbor knocked over my spoiler. That's not sold again. Jeez. This is done. It's coming up. That's done. It's coming up. That's done. It's already on. Well, I always try and cough and clear my throat. I feel like I'm talking too low. The Volvo is sold. The Mustang should be on the channel by now. In fact, the first two videos are up. I gotta get rid of these GTAs and I gotta get this 560 SEL in there. The 600 SEL, if anybody wants this, I'll make you a smoking deal. I've advertised it for a while. Um, it's not got a lot of problems. It's got a few, you can see the videos of it. Um, this car I'll take, um, get it out of here, man. 2,850 bucks, what a deal. Um, as you can see, some other things are gone. I'm just kind of picking up where I left off with brushing turds out of the Triumph, which is gone! Got an extra jack. I don't even know what that came out of, man. And then, yeah. Had the Volvo go dead because we left the, you know, sometimes it's just not the car's fault. Sometimes it's your own dumb fault. Um, well, Pinto's sold. I hate saying that till they're gone. SL's sold. Again, I hate saying it till they're gone. Oh man, I gotta go this way. Watch the frickin' stole dust out on the Brooklyn. Jeez, Nate. Okay. Why was I bringing this? Oh, yeah, this died. You know, that's part of the problem of working on a dozen or two things at one time. At least you forget what you're doing. And I'm going to try and keep glass up with a fuller view of everything. I can't see what's in the screen sometimes. So I end up looking at the ground and stuff and not trying to waste your time. This is a beautiful car. I actually got it all going and ready to do it to it this morning. And it's going to go to the gym. Well, I did go to the gym. But I had to take the Turbo Volvo instead of the supercharged T-Bird. I'm gonna put me a slow 
auto start 20 amp charge on this thing. Now I've got this trailer in and today's job will be to clean up all the crap laying around here and <laughs> move it around here to just make this side look more decent. Because I'm going to be taking pictures of that fifth wheel. Now, if you want a deal on a fifth wheel, hey, if you want a deal on a fifth wheel, call Nate. You won't hesitate or be late. I don't know. I don't really care. Ah, man. Isn't that how it goes? I get ready and I'll end up with a tire out or something. Tire out is. Okay, I'm actually going to back this shiznick up. Do a little organizing in the shop. I'll roll past the pipe wrench over nozzles. Anything! Four by four, baby. How much water does one of these sponges hold? Look at this. Crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and get some fresh water on it too. Okay, well, done a little bit of outside cleanup. Got some cars moved around. Got some cars running. And I gotta get this moved because I'm taking pictures of this today. Oh man, look at that. How are you gonna take pictures with it looking like that? Now I'm gonna let that warm up for a second and I'm gonna address that question. Ouch. What would I use to clean that? Hmm. I'm gonna try just a final detailer of sorts. That's gonna take a lot of it out. But not all of it. I'm gonna have to try something stronger. It's not wanting to end bone and let go. That ain't cutting it. Hmm. Honestly, my degreaser could just eat the paint right off. not a hundred percent but it's much much better to say the least so that's what I'm gonna have to do to all of it okay I've let my truck run long enough and I better move it before I run out of fuel Yeah, that looks way better. Night and day difference. And that's just something that don't really come off with the wash on this particular rig. I like this truck. Awesome truck. Woo, and the heater's on. Okay, well that works. I should back this in, back it up to it. Now, I'm not going to be able to get that side of it unless I buy a 
four or five hundred dollar hitch. I'm probably gonna have to be about right here for my camera lens to work. So since I bumped into that, I'm gonna deal with this and I'm gonna say this needs to go forward. Hmm. Yummy. This thing. It, it, I'll just put it this way. It looks a lot easier to push than it is. The size is kind of... What would you call it? Deceiving. There you go. Ah. Hey now, stop there, Betty. There we go. That'll give me enough room to get some pictures. I've had quite a problem trying to find the, um, Oh my god. Well, broke my buffer case. Man, this thing's all slippery. It slipped right out of my hands. This leaked all over it. This was broke, anyways. But now it really is. I just dropped that on it. Smack that sucker. Honestly, I want to cry. I, do, I, I just, I'm... Now I can think of the screwdriver I was looking for. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. It wasn't my foot. That's all there is to it. Okay, so looking for a flathead screwdriver to try and do this here. Thing. I've got two keys for this trailer and at the same time that's why you don't wear sandals while you're working by the way I mean it's just stupid you could take your freaking foot and put you out of work for weeks of course find the Phillips there we go okay now I don't really expect this to work but the only one I can't get open that one. There we go. Oh yeah, baby. Bingo, jackpot, bango. Okay. What a mess. Right? Okay. Let's see here. Holy Hannah. Battery float charger. Okay. Let's just. These two come from the power. So, let's just assume that white's negative? Huh. Good question. If the possums haven't switched mine around, you know, it just looks like. Oh yeah, just big enough. Okay, so maintenance free, 24 months, no installation date. Hmm. Okay, so the trailer is not gonna be plugged in unless that's plugged in. I'm gonna check on my office trailer here. And see how it's done. I am not a professional. I am not a professional. I don't know this. Red just seems more positive than white. Not to be racist. All the raccoons get in the trash and they string it everywhere. Ugh. My phone's ringing. It's just life. The possums. Um, white. Negative. Negative. 
Negatory. God. And as this gets cleaned up, stuff gets stacked in here. Look at them connections. I don't even know how much longer this is going to last. I run this thing off a charger all the time. I've had people tell me, that isn't going to work. That's going to burn something up. Well, it's the same exact thing as having a power converter in there and running it off that and burning that up because it's running all the time. I am pretty sure Ooh, there's no way to get up the back. This would work. You'd have to put it there. Yeah. Okay. So let's start hooking this she snake up. That is most definitely negative. Well, in our hopes here. This is going to be interesting because well, I don't even know if these batteries are probably Philippine made. Seriously. We can make batteries in Filipinia cheaper than we can make batteries here. There's just enough that it doesn't look like there is. There is just enough cable to hang yourself here. Okay, this is gonna be a boring video, huh? I got my T-Bird running, I need to just go move some stuff around. I'm having a hard time putting that one back. I wanna drive it. So I might move three cars to save one, I guess you'd say. I've been driving the Volvo. I absolutely love it. It's a great little car. I believe they address a lot of the problems that the 240 had that this one doesn't. Oh no. Are you joking me? Oh, please be it. Not it. Hmm. Well. You can tell where I leave my keys at. Because now I'm totally lost. I'm gonna have to get this doing to do the next thing. I hate that frickin' dog. Look at that one barks at it. Good dog. See, he's scared of it. It'll bark at that one. Okay, well, I'm off to find the keys. Let's see who called me. Gotta wipe that down. Man, I got a lot of stuff to do. Hopefully I'll be ready by this evening. Oh yeah, I was doing that too. Okay, one, two. Oh, Lord. I'm a little battery shy now. I'm not kidding either. I'm gonna keep this sucker pushed way up. I'm gonna be ready to jump way back. I'm a little messed up after that one. Okay. Right now I want to shut glass off. Because it would make it easier. What would it make it easier to do? Switch hands? Was I really thinking that? 
There's no way to record a video like this if you're dropping batteries close to your foot and breaking your $250 buffer. That makes me so freaking angry. My own dumb fault. The thing slipped right out of my hand. Total accident. I'm scared and I feel poopy about it. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> The odd thing is, Volt. not plugged in, which might be good. Huh. Oh, there we go. We got some lights. Hello, lads. Wow. Okay. This should. That works fine. Okay, now, the question is, is my connector worth a chip? We did a reading thing on it. We it read that it was worth a chip. But, That sure sounded like something blowing out, didn't it? Let's see what happened here. Shit. That one blew. Okay. The only real difference should be that heater should come on now. Or conditioner. We're gonna leave that on a minute. See what it does. And there's a pump running. get a cigarette lighter to where I can see in here. Hmm, jeez. Okay, it's not even hooked up, right? Holy hell. There's not even a, a nozzle on the measle. Oh no, this doesn't, no? I don't know. The only thing I like less than electricity is propane and propane accessories. <laughs> Outdoor shower. Well, I'm running out of degreaser. And I really didn't have enough a long time ago. And, to be quite honest, I'm not exactly loving the idea of washing that thing with the greaser. Ooh, in the back of the truck. And I didn't get my Volvo key. Well, I'm probably gonna shut this off. I gotta get my ladder back out that I just moved. <laughs> 
<laughs> this isn't the prettiest. A little bit of soap left. This isn't the prettiest liquid that you're ever going to see. But. I think this should do the trick. Single stage, degrease, wash, buff, wax, the whole deal. Yes, sir. Something to that effect, huh? Okay. We are on it. I'm gonna just start on this side. What the hell? And you know, I can't really. I washed this a few days ago. And washing it just ain't gonna do it. Some of them just ain't gonna come out no matter what I do. But. It's gonna be a long job. There's a lot of trailer here, buddy. And it's not easy to wipe, so it's really tearing my towel around in my hand. I just can't. Hold on, Captain. And stuff like that. This ought to bring a little color off, even. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off for a while. Call it good. Well, I just got on this side of it. Driver's side, let's call it. And you can see right there. Whoa! Hell yeah. And that's just not watermarks. That's a little bit more serious. They're coming out. It is a Saturday, so I'm always pumping to get something done Saturday and Sunday. It's usually quieter. And I can get by without the wow going by all the time. Well, you'll see these things on my website. Best way is to be subscribed on YouTube. You're going to see it first. Add me on Facebook. You're going to see it second. Or even more stuff you don't see on Facebook because I can't post the pictures and stuff here on YouTube. Three. Check out my website. OneOwnerCarGuy.com And all the pictures and everything go there. It'll be 80 to 100 pictures and every car in there. Breeders mad. Beaglespocket.com. There's people causing static over in the church parking lot. And I know it right now. So I'm gonna go reassure her. And get my ladder. And get this bad boy done. What a deal. What a country. Pop that back in maybe while I'm at it. Well, that just doesn't look like I want it to. Eaglespocket.com. I'm gonna have to go take care of that. I'm gonna go get my Volvo key and check on Breeder. Probably said that a few times. Teams. <laughs> we'll talk to you. Well, I'm down to the last piece here. <laughs> my arms are tired. It's a lot of wiping. Now I know 
how a 500 pound woman with diarrhea feels. A lot of wiping. Okay. I didn't do the front. I don't know, look at it. Oh. God, it looks awful. I feel like I went to the gym and swung bicep machines for 45 minutes. I'll be back. Well, at a different point of the day at least. I am going to take a look back from the side. I see I got a hole. That's the only real damage on this thing. That hole, I wanted to give you a good picture of it. I'm gonna slide the slide out out. <laughs> that was a double double. And I think the bigger one. Now I've never done this. Just say it's not this one. It seems like a perfect fit. Yeah, that might be for that one. Let's see what all we got here. We got three handles. That could be for that, huh? I think this one is for that. Well then, how would you get that in there? Oh my, we've got a problem. I don't think I have the... Right in three handles, not a one on his right. Ooh. That is my new picker in a car rotter. <laughs> I'm gonna get a flashlight. Ooh, I've got one right here. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Video, whatever. You know you love steers when. Yeah, that's not even a bumper sticker, man. That's a freaking emblem. Get me the emblem. Emblem. Dude, Home Slice took my flashlight or something. Well, first thing was odd as I crawled under there and there was no motor. I'm used to Mrrr. This hose is getting worse and worse. I'm not even gonna be able to stretch it pretty soon here. Okay, well, another new day. Still haven't got nothing done on that. I'm gonna look again tomorrow. However, this is done. I got a York peppermint patty. I'm gonna take, I just took a bunch of pictures in here. So before I turn the lights off, I'll show you everything. I'm actually gonna fire up the regular camera here and finish up my review. It's a nice trailer, for sure. Everything's in here, everything's working away. Hmm. We need a flashlight. Oh, 
Hey, there I am. Nice clean toilet. Tub's a rare option. Outside shower too on this one. Privacy doors on front and back rooms. I think you can sleep. Two, four, six, eight. I think it's set up for seven or eight people, which is insane. Okay, I've pretty much gotten all the pictures that I came to get before. I just wanted to do a walkthrough real quick. Well, what I gotta find out is oh, it goes around the whole thing. Okay. I don't have that attachment. So I'm missing. The slide out attachment. Well, this. See, that ain't gonna do it. I don't think. This one's all wrong. This could be it, man. I guess. I'm gonna try to tap it on there. I got all my lights on. Battery's going dead. Huh, there might be an onboard charger. I guess I don't know if they're going dead. My snap-on plastic hammer. Look at this. It's brand freaking new. Look at that. Never even been used. <laughs> I hate to use it to smack on something like this. Really, I'm actually turning it around. Oh god, I don't want to have a reminiscence about my buffer. <laughs> Hell, this is hardly used either, but it's a lot cheaper of a hammer to smack on a piece of metal with. This sucks. I wish I could just crank this out. Man, that went on there. Not that it's working. Wow. Ha! That is it. I didn't want to smack it on there too hard. <laughs> now I don't know how I'm going to get it off of there. However, I just made myself lots of extra work. Wouldn't it suck if this thing fell out on me? I know nothing about this. Never taking this one out. Keeping my hand on it now. Since I thought about that, it's gonna be a shitload bigger in there, I'll tell you that right now. It's gonna make me have to take a lot more pictures. Oh man, more work, man. Oh wow, I might even have to clean the side. Oh wow, that's clean. I'm surprised. I'm gonna look. See how far I am. See if I'm yanking on anything I shouldn't be. Stuff like that. It's going to be huge in here. Womp, womp, womp. Wow. It's huge. It really is. Wow, I was there. That is. Well. Maybe two inches up top and three, four inches down bottom. I'm gonna have to take pictures of the outside, the inside. You know what's gonna suck? This 
so I'm too far out of level. It came off a lot easier than it went on. That's what she said. Okay. Let me back up and give you a look at it. That's the deal. New pictures, here we come. I kind of dig the little shorty handle. I think I'll set that on my car. What the hell's wrong with me? Okay, new pictures, inside and out. So, I'm gonna have to say goodbye here in a minute. And such. Okay, I moved a few things around. Let me change this up. Damn it, it's just a little dust bunny type thing there. I never know if flash or no flash. Blow your ears. Cute, 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 cute. Yeah, it's huge in here with the. Slide out, out, out. It's done. 28 footer. I didn't know yesterday, so. I had to clip a little weird piece into my video. I actually thought it was a 26. I shorted myself by two feet. Okay, well, I'm gonna make an add on and make an extra interior. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I've got here for you today is a 1999 Fleetwood Wilderness Light with the slide out. It's a 28 foot, it's a very nice unit. I'm gonna go around it and show you any damage and such and all that good stuff. This here's an exterior review. And I'm gonna clip this in with the clip I other made because I didn't know how many feet it was and I do now. It's a 28 foot. 